hello, hello. I'm going to show a little demo of Replicant. Uh, what you're seeing here is a real-time stream. Um, I'm using a webcam to track my upper body. Uh, it could also track my facial expressions, but I'm using an iPhone. It's going to be an older iPhone, iPhone 10 I have here. And um, that gives me very good uh, facial fidelity. So I have this uh, Sushi Samurai here, uh, which can be used as a streamer. This is all running uh, real time. Um, you see I'm sitting here in my office. There's some more characters in the background. This runs at um, insanely fast uh, frame rates and, and has a very kind of high fidelity in terms of graphics. Um, <coughs> Uh, if I zoom out, I can also show you the replicant UI. Uh, so you see I have my timeline here. Um, I can move move about in the scene. Uh, if I jump unlock my timeline, I can press... Uh, uh, I can kind of see, you know, I have a couple of angles here and um, use this as a streaming setup. Uh, now we provide a lot of these templates uh, so you can get started quite quickly. Um, replicant is a procedural content creation application. Um, this is very important to kind of understand and I'll explain this. Um, what this means is that we can basically create an infinite amount of characters. Now, let's take a look at that. You see that each character um, in here, in this case, this samurai, uh, is built up out of uh, many different layers. So I can change proportions if I wanted to, all this works in real time, so you can basically see um, what what whatever you're designing, you can see. Um, I have like a, an outfit library that I can change. Uh, I have many kind of outfits to choose from. And <clears throat> as you can see, they automatically get fit onto this character. Uh, so let's say if I switch this off, I'll switch his gloves off. Uh, I have a bunch of like, you know, additional kind of assets on, on, on this, but um, it's a very fun way to basically kind of design your characters. I see he needs uh, some pants, so let me put some pants on. Um, so here we go. Um, so this is a very kind of, you know, simple kind of way of, of de designing that. I have a scene designer if I want to drop, uh, drop in like assets. Uh, I have that all available here. Um, <coughs> Uh, you see that this scene is running at uh, almost 60 FPS, so it's very, very fast. Uh, I just added an alarm clock here, an apple, uh, goes well with sushi. Uh, whatever I kind of want to add, I can put that on, on, on here. And it's simple, you know, drag and drop. Uh, so now I've kind of modified the scene, you see. Um, we also have a very kind of easy uh, lighting system. Lighting in 3D usually is very difficult. Um, so we have all these kind of preset lighting rigs here. You see that the light changes when I drag this in. Um, let's say we're going to add this one here. Um, now I can find my lighting rig and place that where the character sits. And I will have perfect uh, lighting for this and it's optimized as well. Uh, this is like something that is quite tricky. So <coughs> you see, I can try different kind of looks quite easily. Um, we also have a script generator. Uh, this allows you to basically kind of make short films quite easily and quickly. Uh, let's take a look at that next. Um, so if I go to my animation library now, I can put on, you know, you have all sorts of emotions and all these type of things. They can be triggered, uh, or you can just drag them onto the timeline and create your, uh, your, 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 your animations. Um, this can be, you know, this can be pretty, pretty involved. There's a lot of things that you, um, you can add, you can make music videos, uh, Full on commercials uh, and and so on. I encourage you to watch our YouTube channel. So there's more stuff on there. But now let's take a look at the um, the script writer. Um, so in the script writer, I'm now going to uh, automate uh, an animation. So I select 
my character. I press confirm. Um, I want uh, our character to talk about sushi and the art of war. Um, <clears throat> now, instead of doing any motion capture, I'm basically going to um, generate this this uh, automatically. I'm going to give like 15 lines. I can put in different kind of time periods, dialogue styles, and so on. I'm going to keep this uh, funny, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to have a format for uh, YouTube video. Um, now I'll say generate script. Uh, okay. So now this uh, script is coming in and we see that our host is basically talking about sushi and the art of war. Um, some animations are being put in and camera angles are made. So once I have this, I press sequence and I build my sequence. So the way we kind of look at, um, you know, AI and animation is that we really think that um, um, the creators need to be in control at any moment in time. So what you see here is that I've created a timeline. This is something that would normally take me a long time to do. Um, so this saves time, but I have full control over it. You know, so if I wanna, <clears throat> if I wanna, you know, change the shots here. Let's say I this should be like more of a close up. I can go in open my camera preview, zoom in, you know, maybe I want to be here, say update. So now we jump into a different cut. Uh, maybe here I want to be, um, you know, I can also move the camera manually. Maybe I want to be further away or lower, whatever. Um, but you, you, you're in control at any moment uh, of the time. If you want to change the animations, you can do that as well. You know, there's basically building blocks that you can kind of drag and drop. You can go to the animation tab, and now you can basically, um, you know, you can, you can overrule this, right? So if he's sitting on the desk talking with both hands here, I can say, you know, maybe in this one he is... Uh, Maybe we don't want him sitting, you know, maybe we give like some kind of emote here, you know, and I'll blend that into the next sitting animation. So she, huh? Ah, uh, man of culture, you seek the dragon. Okay, so let's actually see what we've made because we haven't done that yet. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll play this and you'll see the sequence that we've made. So you think you can handle my sushi, huh? Ah, uh, man of culture, you seek the dragon roll. I see you're a warrior in the battlefield of flavor. A true sushi warrior. Then prepare for battle, my friend. Excellent. The sushi dojo awaits. Let the war begin. Indeed, let the sushi war commence. That's the spirit. Now grab your chopsticks. The battle is about to begin. But if I wanted to animate this, I could do that. I could basically say, hey, you know, let's add my motion capture and my body motion capture. And now I'm basically, you know, animating this character uh, by just using my iPhone and my webcam. Uh, so that's the beauty of, of, uh, of Replicant. Now, I know that, you know, this interface can look a little bit uh, daring to some new creators that are not familiar with, with, with editing programs and, and, and 3D. Uh, for that, we have created um, an easy story mode and an easy streaming mode. 